Well, today is Pet Obesity Awareness Day, and while we love to pamper our pets with treats and sometimes even some human food, it may not be the best idea for their overall health. So joining me now with more on keeping our pets healthy is Dr. Courtney Wegard with Vinton Vet. Great to have you on Hi, the show. thanks again. Yes, and of course, you wouldn't, you know, come on here without a little pet. I had to. Yes. I had to. All right, so who's this? This is Betty Lou. Betty Lou, She is on. a adoptable dog from the RCACP. Here here in Roanoke. She's a long timer. She's been at the pound for over a, a hundred days, I believe. Aww. So she is ready for her forever home. And she's very curious. Somebody was here. She's got a good oh, sniffer. We, we've had yeah, plenty of pets on this uh, set. So I'm sure that the, she's smelling some. But she's beautiful. beautiful she sets. is a uh, very well behaved, very treat motivated. Mm -hmm. um, she would probably do well uh, in a only dog house or a dog that maybe is a little bit older, isn't quite rambunctious, probably not a, a high energy housemate. Okay, but yeah. Would make she's a very good home. She's had yeah. some babies too. She has. She's seen some days. We don't we don't know what's happened, but Aww. she is ready for a home, that's for sure. She's a sweetheart. And she's available where again? At the RCACP. Okay. All right, right here so in Roanoke. Look how beautiful you are. Look she at is. that. Yes, let's find her her forever home. But let's talk about obesity in our pets, Courtney, because this is a, a concern. How do we know if our pet is obese? That is a great question. So when you come into the veterinary office, we will uh, right away when we're doing our physical exam, we will try to assess their body condition score. So okay. there's a great scale from one to nine. One is way too skinny, almost skeleton. And okay. nine, nine is obese, like morbidly obese. Okay. So what you want to be is comfortably in the middle, somewhere between four and six. And Betty Lou here happens to be about a five, which is perfect. She okay. is in perfect body condition. Nice, gentle curves. Uh, you can sort of feel her ribs, but you can't see them, and you can't feel those pelvic bones back okay. here. So she's in great body condition. Okay, yeah, you want, kind of want that hourglass yes. look, but you don't want to see those those ribs. Exactly. Out. Yeah, that's too skinny. Okay, and what are the risks with obesity? Is it the same with humans? It is. Yeah. So decreased lifespan. Mm -hmm. So Purina did a whole lifespan study and found that dogs that were obese lived years shorter wow. than dogs that were kept in good body condition. And as you know, our pets don't live very long to begin with. So those years, you know, taking that off their life just tremendously, uh, you know, cuts that life down. Right, absolutely. All right, you know, some of us, you know, I won't name names, okay, maybe I've done this. Uh, we like to give treats to our dogs because we love them so much and I want to see them, you know, happy and maybe a little peanut butter here or a piece of cheese. Um, is that okay? So everything in moderation. Yeah. And you just have to be careful what you give. So don't forget it. You're feeding them two, three times a day their regular meal and then you throw some snacks in there. That's like us eating dinner and then later on going back for that midnight snack. All of those calories count. <laughs> yeah. You just have to be really careful with what you're giving and how okay. much. So that little wedge of cheese is like a cheeseburger to you and me. Oh, so people okay. don't think about what those calories mean for their pets. No, I just, we just think it's a piece of cheese. Okay, and then let's talk about, you know, how often should I be taking my pet to see the veterinarian? Great question. So when they're juveniles or babies, we usually see them three, four times until they're about 16 weeks of age to make sure that they get all of their necessary vaccinations, dewormings. Um, when they're about between one and say eight to 10, they're considered adults. Typically once a year if they're healthy dogs without any disease, uh, chronic disease. Um, and then when they become a senior or geriatric, we really like to see them at least twice a year or semi-annually okay. because we can pick up on diseases or other issues quicker that way because these guys are really good at hiding their illness. Uh -huh. So those uh, regular appointments are very important. To oh catch yeah, that. yeah. They don't they don't talk to us unfortunately. So that's important. And it's also the law that you should go see your vet, right? It is. So we cannot prescribe medication. This is a state law in Virginia without seeing your pet within a calendar year. So it has to be within 12 months. Mm -hmm. We have to have established an exam, a wellness exam, or some sort of exam. Um, otherwise, we just our hands are tied and we can't mm -hmm. prescribe necessary heartworm prevention, flea and tick prevention, or other medications that your animal might need for the chronic disease or other problems. Yeah. Now, event vet, you have um, like a paw plan. We do. Tell me about that. What's that? So all we about? have wellness plans, which yeah. are great. They are tailored to any life, any life stage, any lifestyle. Uh, we have them from babies, puppies and kittens, all the way through senior geriatric. Mm -hmm. We even have adult spay and neuter plans. So some of these animals that are waiting a little bit later in life to spay or neuter, we've got wellness plans for them too, which is great. What's fabulous about these exams, it's everything you need for the year. And what's even better is we can see your pet at any time during the year, and that exam is included in your wellness plan. So basically unlimited exams. Okay, so yeah, you're plans. saving a lot of money yes. through, the, through those. So um, 
definitely check them out and uh, definitely give uh, this little girl a, a look if you're looking for a chill puppy dog. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. Courtney, always great seeing you. VintonVet.com is also Pet Vet here in Roanoke, and there's the number on your screen. We appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for having me. All right. Still ahead, how to negotiate for a better salary.